Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Ram Overload. And today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can quickly make a 10 hour video to upload on YouTube. So if you want to make a video putting on loop and make it 10 hours or you just, you know, I don't know, some kind of video, you just for the audio you want to do it. It's really simple to do and it shouldn't take you more than like 10 minutes max. So the two tools you need, the first one is called Handbrake and the second one is called MK. Let me just see what it's called. Uh, MKV Tool Next GUI. So let's open up that and as well as Handbrake. So first we're going to use Handbrake to lower the quality of the video. So if your video file is, you know, pretty big or just a normal size, you know, making that into a 10 hour video is going to make it really big and uploading it to YouTube will just be a hassle. So you want to lower the quality a bit and just make it somewhat reasonable when uploading. So this video is two hours and 30, two minutes and 33 seconds. And it's around like 38 megabyte, 30, 39 megabytes. Okay. So let's cancel it. Let's drag it into handbrake. Okay, so Handbrake is the tool we're going to use to lower the quality. So let's go to video. Before we go into video, let's go to dimensions. So this is a 1920 by 1080, which is a 1080 video. So let's change it to make it a 720. So 1280 by 720 is 720. So this overall lowers the dimensions and it should make the video smaller um, already so let's keep the frame rate let's make it slightly lower to 25 and the quality lower as well so this is the quality the main area where where it will make a big difference on the quality of the video so let's move it left to like 30 okay um and and, and let's see how well it um, keeps the quality or changes it So I have this video here is being generated. Let's see. All right, so it's going to take a couple seconds. Um, I'm going to just pause it and then um, when it's done, I'll play it back. All right, so now we have the video completed um, and you guys can see on the bottom left side, it's set only 7.2 megabytes. So we went down from, what was it? Like almost 40 megabytes to seven megabytes. So let's play it and check out the quality of it. So overall, the quality is still pretty good in my opinion. Um, you know, obviously it's not as high def as it would be or as it was. Let's open the original. So you can clearly tell that this video is a better quality than the original one, um, but this one that we created is, you know, it's, in my opinion, it's just, it's pretty good, especially if you're going to be using it for a 10 hour video. All right. Um, so now since we have our video, let's close or let's just minimize handbrake and open up our next tool, which is called the MKV tool next GUI. And in here, we just want to pretty much drag this in here, like a bunch of times. So, it would help to keep track of the times because it doesn't over here. So let's um, let's see the properties. What were, what was the length? Two hours and thirty two minutes and thirty seconds. So oh, when you add the second one, this pop up will come, and you just want to have append to existing source file. Press OK. Uh, just do this a bunch of times. Three. Okay, so I added it a bunch of times. So this should equal to around like 15 minutes. So the, the way to do it is intervals because adding it up to 10 hours will just take too long. So we want to add this. Uh, let's start it 15. It should be around like 15 minutes. Properties, details. Uh, so like say 18, 17 minutes. So that's pretty good. Um, so now let's just delete that and now we'll just keep adding the 17 minute videos and we'll just add that a bunch of times because this way if we're just uh, if we're just adding the smaller videos it will take way too long and it probably 
um, you know, it, it, it's, it's not good because this way we'll, we can kind of tell what the file size will be. We don't want to just add a the, uh, small one a bunch of times and then find out the file size is like 20, 30 gigs, <clears throat> which, you know, obviously we don't want. So it's already 500 megabytes. And this is three hours long. Okay, so that's pretty good. So let's... Um, Add it again, three hours, six hours, nine hours. <clears throat> so now this is nine hours. Let's add the um, the 17 minute one a couple times. Now let's add it four times. So that should be slightly above 10 hours long um, overall. So I think it's still converting. So yeah, you can see on the bottom right hand side, the percentage. So, you know, this tool is pretty quick, so it doesn't really take that long. So even if you have a slower PC, it shouldn't really um, take that long. Properties. So right there, 10 hours and eight minutes. Let's open up the file and check it out. So yeah, you can see right here, 10 hours, eight minutes. You can just, whatever, go back. It's not corrupted or anything. It's working perfectly fine. I have the audio muted, but yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but yeah, but basically that's pretty much it. Uh, really easy to make a 10 hour video. Um, it's been less than 10 minutes to even do it. So, you know, once you have your file ready, you want to lower the quality a bit and then you want to basically just append it to each other causing the loop so yeah that's pretty much it you know if you have any question or comments please leave them down below you know i'd love to help you guys out if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace